Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Daniel Hood Roofing Systems. I know that guy. The NRCA, the UASRC, rated GAF Master Elite, Owens Corning Preferred. What does all that mean? It means Daniel has so much training, other roofers actually come to him for their training. It means he can offer warranties other roofers simply can't offer. Call Daniel Hood Roofing Systems this week about roofing or guttering. They do that as well. Uh, and figure out, you'll see for yourself, what all those different certifications mean, what all that goal level status means. It means he's the best you can get. Proud to say it. Daniel Hood Roofing Systems. All right. Guys, there were a lot of Alabama fans in Neyland Stadium yesterday. I had two different people reach out to me, and then Sterling was like, yeah, I saw this too. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of kids over there yesterday in red who were with parents who were dressed in orange. The last 10 years, <laughs> you've had four winning seasons, and really just two that where you've won eight, eight or more games uh, out of 10 years. That's coincided with Alabama having a, the, one of the best 10-year runs in football history. You haven't won a championship in 20 years. My question well, to you, has Tennessee lost – part of a generation of young potential fans. I'm going to go with probably. I, I don't think you can say yes, but think about it. Um, Alabama, you know, when I was a kid, Alabama was very good. You could see them on TV maybe twice a season. Now I see Alabama every week. Okay, my mom and dad's over here cheering for the guys who are getting beat. I'm sitting here watching these guys who are great. I, I think that probably has a lot to do with it. Combination of Alabama great and you can watch every stinking game of them. I think that's a great point because now it is so much easier to follow another team rather than just your local team. Much easier to do. That's a good point. Uh, guys, do you think they've lost some or part of a generation of fans? I, I do. And, and I think it's kind of what you said because uh, a lot of times in recruiting even, the, a lot of the recruits don't know what happened 10 years ago. Right. They knew what happened three, four, five, six years ago. Yeah. And so I think that's a part of it. And I did see the same as you did. I saw some parents in Tennessee outfits in orange with kids that were in Alabama. The other thing about Alabama's success, they have attracted so many out-of-state students to mm -hmm. go there because they're winning and people want to be a part of a winner. And I think that's affected Tennessee a little bit too. Yeah, the winning. <laughs> I mean, obviously, as a kid in a household and, and, and your parents are, are going to games and it's not turning out well. I mean, for a while there, even Tennessee was doing halfway decent. They weren't winning that many games at home like they used to. And then you turn on the TV and there's Alabama winning games, playing in the SEC championship, now in the BCS. I mean, they're on there, they're on there. A lot of people are going to gravitate towards a winner. But it wouldn't happen in my household. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly these are bad parents. <laughs> this is over here. Uh, what, what has Tennessee in the last 10 years given kids growing up something yes. to be excited about? To say, hey, I want to see Tennessee this weekend. Not, not very much, right? Not at Neyland Stadium when you go to the games. I mean, Tennessee this season has played two SEC games at home, two Power 5 teams at home, been outscored 105 to 42. So you're going to, the, you're going to Neyland Stadium, you're going to see Tua put up big numbers. My neighbor just a couple of weeks ago was telling me that he was talking to his, he was trying to convince his daughter that no, no, Tennessee used to be good. She's in <laughs> high school. She doesn't remember <laughs> Tennessee being good. Here's the concern. This is why this is an issue. If they have lost a few, today's fans, these kids, that's tomorrow's season ticket buyers, boosters, yeah donors sooner or later i know people saying we don't want that haslam money yeah okay sooner or later you're not going to have the haslam money and the question is who's going to be there to pick up the slack and if you've lost a percentage of fans that means the way they build new stadiums and build new arenas and upgrades is by raising ticket prices well look at the number you know, of alabama so. fans in the stands too Exactly. That means Tennessee fans sold tickets to Alabama. Yeah, and they were still trying to. A lot of them were still yeah. trying to Saturday. And there was a ton of crimson in there. All right, when we come back, we have to pick the South Carolina game. Oh, no. Yeah, really. <laughs> Jimmy, myself, and Daniel are right up. We're on the, the dreaded line of death. Uh, we will pick the, the uh, Tennessee-South Carolina game next. Chuck will set the Cavaliers line. Come on back on the Sports Source.